Hi everyone, welcome to RPT Plus Online Lessons. In this lecture, we're going to be talking about the introduction of highlight incorrect words and the key information you must know. So for this question type, it's going to be appearing in the listening section. And it is suggested that you take the optional 10 minutes break because in the listening section, uh, all the audios will only be played once. Now, uh, this question will be in the second section of listening, which means that uh, those questions will be calculated, uh, will be timed uh, as a whole. So you need to manage your time accordingly. The reason is uh, the most heavily weighted question of is going to be is going to be at the last question of the exam. Right? So you you definitely want to leave enough room uh, for you to complete the last question. Now, let's have a look at the score contribution. So you're going to be facing four to five questions, I mean, uh, two to three questions of HRW in the exam, and each will potentially give you four to five marks. So that's about 10 to 12 marks in total. And um, let's have a look at the contributions to your um, final scores. So it will be contributing uh, about 8% to your listening and reading. So even it is not much, uh, compared to, for example, SST and WFD, right? They are 21% and 25% each accordingly, which is a lot, right? Um, we still count this highlight incorrect words question type as one of the four major listening question types. The four major listening question types are SST, FIB, uh, WFD, and highlight incorrect words. So why do we do that? It's because this is cross module. Okay. This is uh, cross-contributing to your listening and your reading scores. And it's not like uh, HSCS, which is like 2% each, this is 8% each. So potentially, uh, if you do well in this question, and it is pretty easy to get this question correct, um, by doing well at this simple question, you can potentially um, contribute a lot to your reading. Okay? And reading in PTE is not easy, it's pretty hard, right? those five question types. Now, uh, I digress, let's get back to the listening questions. So if we rank the importance of uh, this highlighting correct words, then we'll see that even though uh, the total percentage is not that high, uh, we still rank it as very, very important. Now, for the listening uh part of the exam, uh, not only do your highlighting correct words contributing to it, but also repeat sentence, retail lecture, they account for a lot of the percentage of your listening scores. Okay, So if you want to get a good listening score, um, you definitely want to master repeat sentence and retail lecture. And your answer to your question, even though it's not a lot, for anyone who is targeting at uh, 79 or above, you shouldn't skip this question. Okay? It's still contributing to your speaking and your listening score uh, at the same time. And this also contributes to your vocabulary score as well. So you definitely want to uh, at least get half of them correct. Get 100% uh, of them correct if you can. Right. Now, um, let's move back to uh, highlight incorrect words. So let's have a look at the official introduction. Highlight incorrect words. For this item type, you hear a recording and see a transcript. So far in our discussion of chemical reactions, we have assumed that these reactions only go in one direction, the forward direction, from left to right as we read it in an equation. That's why our arrow points from left to right. Reactants. However, the transcript contains some errors. While listening and reading, you need to click on the words in the text that differ from what the speaker says. Okay, now, um, so this is going to be the exam interface that you will face in the actual exam. So on the top right corner, we can see a timer. And this tells you the time remaining for the entirety of the second section. Right? It's not just for one, uh, one question only. And you can have a look at 
uh, how many questions are left in the entire exam, right? And you will be facing two to three questions of highlighting card words. And you have about 10 seconds to uh, go through the text just briefly, just to have a look at what you're going to uh, face in 10 seconds. Right? And then the audio starts to play automatically after 10 seconds of preparation time. And uh, there are about four to five errors in the actual exam. But here's the catch. Right? Um, the scoring criteria for this question is that you get one mark for each uh, mistakes that you've highlighted. And you lose one mark for each incorrect word that you've highlighted. So you actually lose mark if you choose the words incorrectly. Right? So um, if you found that your final answer uh, have only three, three words highlighted, then you shouldn't go back and think, okay, maybe there's one more. Maybe I'll highlight this just to get the one extra point. Now, um, because the audio will only be played once, um, you have to be able to keep track with the uh, audio when you're doing the question. And it is recommended that you finish the whole question within 10 seconds after the recording is finished. So even, even say less than five seconds, right? Because this question is very, very fast paced. As you're doing the question, you should be figuring out the answers along the way instead of after. And if you spend uh, too much time on one word, you're very, very, good, very likely going to miss the next one. So get the highlights uh, correctly along the way. And don't spend too much time on uh, rethinking about things that you've already done. Uh, instead, try to rely on your short memory in this one. Okay. And uh, after we're done, we should be clicking the next button as soon as possible because the next question type is word writing dictation. Okay, that's all for this lecture. Uh, I'll see you in the next one.